In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this blur background effect using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Thrill, and welcome to another video by Tutorials Junction. I have a little bit of cold, so I'm really sorry for that. So the original is this one, and this is what we will try to create. And after the effect, I will also show you how to use hue saturation to change, you know, to get any color you want to give it more fantasy feeling. Okay, so let's go here and first thing, unlock the background uh, and let's make a copy. One will be model and one will be for the background. So just go and name bottom one background. This will be the blurred. Now we have to make a selection of her. So I'm going to use my quick selection. You can use any tool you like. Now my selection is done and to be honest it's really annoying image to select green dress in front of green background so I did the best I could do and once the selection is done uh, activate your model layer first and hide this one so you can see what is going on and then I'm gonna apply a layer mask so we have a model here uh, then I'm gonna go and activate this background and I'm also gonna drag this uh, this mask here but hold your alt key when you do it so you can also apply the same layer mask here uh, then uh, activate this one and press ctrl i so now as you can see we have model on different layer and we have background on different layer after that i'm gonna go and crop some of the area so we can focus on model better once this is done go and hide the eye of your model layer uh, and uh, first thing you're gonna right click here on the background layer mask and select apply layer mask so so now we can apply content aware directly on this layer but before you do that, uh, we need selection of it. So uh, for that, I'm gonna hold my control key and click on this layer mask. So we have selection. And now we need to take it outside a little bit. So I'm gonna go to select, modify and expand. And expand it by like, you know, three pixel or something. Three should be enough, okay. Uh, after that, you will press shift backspace. Uh, and in this option, get content aware, hit okay. And content hour sometimes can take pretty good amount of time so don't worry if it goes on forever now let's go and remove the selection so select and deselect after then turn on your model layer but make sure that your background layer is the active one uh, then go to filter blur and i'm gonna go and select fill blur in the fill blur go and increase the amount uh, slowly until it blends in really nice and then turn on your light bokeh so you can get those really nice round shapes uh, but in this image there isn't much data to create really nice bokeh so i'm gonna do my best looking pretty good hit ok Okay, so as you can see, we missed out on masking little bit things here, so I'm gonna go and fix it. Now let's go and add some lighting. So my brush is ready, and first I will use a solid white color, and this will go under the model and on top of background, so in the middle here. Make the brush big, uh, not too big, uh, this big should be enough, right click, and make sure the hardness is 0%. And just do one click and now just make this one bigger so Control t and make it big okay so first one is done now make another copy of it Control j now we have to make it green so i'm gonna go to image adjustment uh use saturation uh, first thing colorize it and reduce the lightness so we can see some colors uh, i'm gonna make it a bit saturated uh, and let's change the colors now okay looks pretty good hit okay now i'm gonna adjust the opacity and size of both of this okay now let's add some leaves so go to file place and download this file place it let's make it bigger Now 
this will go on top of the model uh, and they are like way too much so apply the layer mask and remove the ones you don't need okay good enough after that uh, we have to apply some blur but before that make sure that you have the leaves active and not the mask so select leaves go to filter blur and first one will be motion blur uh, and my motion is like at 72 and minus 47 it's just matching this direction hit ok and after that i will apply the filter blur and this will be the gaussian blur uh, with Gaussian blur be careful if you add too much they will look like more like smudges uh, so keep it in control after that go and hit ok now to add slight lighting effect on the model get this grain layer make copy of it control J and put this one on top of lives and model and then make its opacity somewhere like 20% or like that uh, ok 18 let's turn it on and off ok good enough now I'm gonna make this area bright so for that uh, adjustment layer and get curves first make it bright now instead of removing it from the parts I don't need I'm gonna activate my mask and press ctrl I uh, let's make it a bit more bright okay uh, now I'm gonna activate my brush tool and then I will paint only in the places where I need the light uh, with white color obviously so now paint here where you need it a bit here for the patches Okay, so as you can see, my mask looks something like this uh, and obviously it's way too much bright so I'm gonna go and reduce it a bit. Now we need to make clothing a little bit darker so we can have contrast with background. Uh, for that, I'm gonna go hold my control key and get the selection of the model from this layer mask here. Then I will go and create a new adjustment layer and get brightness contrast now because we had selection now when my when i make my brightness darker it will only affect the model so go and make it somewhere on like you know minus 70 80 75 is fine uh, i also need it here in uh, this area so i'm gonna get a white color and paint it manually here So the dress is dark but I don't want it on the skin so I'm gonna go and remove it. Now I'm gonna go and apply a gradient but before that make sure that your foreground color here is black. Uh, then I'm gonna go and apply a gradient on top of everything. Uh, select foreground to transparent hit ok now in the style make it radial uh, and reverse it and then go and hit ok now I'm gonna go and reduce the opacity some, uh, somewhere around like you know 70% uh, and then I'm gonna remove it from this portion from the middle looking all right okay now we're gonna do exact opposite of what we did here so i'm gonna go and get selection of model Con hold down control key and click on this mask so you have selection uh, then go to your adjustment and get a brightness contrast but this time actually i'm gonna go and make uh, it brighter a bit like this uh, then go and close it but this time i'm gonna go and remove it from this area something like this uh, so we have only this portion bright and nothing else lighting is done now let's go and make the colors a bit more vivid so for that go to your adjustment and get a vibrance and make it colorful uh, i'm gonna keep it somewhere around like plus uh, 44 looks good and after that go and create another adjustment layer and i'm gonna get uh, selective colors in the red i'm gonna go and make it minus 30 uh, it's for the leaves only as you can see here we are adding some red and after that i'm gonna go to my greens and add a little bit of green and after that i'm gonna also add a little bit of black so we have more contrast in green color and after that i'm gonna go to my what do you call whites and i'm gonna add a little bit of yellow uh, 
uh, and then I will go to my neutrals and add a little bit of black uh, so we have more contrast on overall image uh, then I'm gonna go to my blacks and the first thing I will do is get rid of some uh, you know deep shadows and after that I'm also gonna add a little bit of blue in the shadows uh, so go and make your yellow minus 15 or something like that so now if I turn this on and off as you can see it makes all the difference now I'm gonna make this portion bright for the last time so I'm gonna go and create new adjustment and make curves and make it a bit more bright uh, something like that and after that uh, in my mask I'm gonna press ctrl i so everything is hidden uh, then I will paint with white color uh, in the only places where I need light uh, so let's go and make it a bit brighter all right so effect is done here but now i'm gonna show you how to change color of your background so just like the brightness contrast get a selection of the model hold ctrl key and click here uh, then on top of everything go and create new adjustment layer and get a hue saturation and now if you change the hue uh, as you can see it is only affecting the model so just select your mask and press ctrl i so now when you change anything here that will affect the background and now you can get any color you like uh, so this is pretty flexible i mean things you can do in photoshop man it's awesome so i really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did hit that like button and if you have any questions or suggestions uh, ask me in comment section below and if you're new here you can click on any of these boxes to check out more videos by me plus you can also subscribe to my channel so every time i upload a new video you will get the update plus clicking on that subscribe button will take you to my youtube channel where i have tons of photoshop tutorials only for you so till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop